secret government, quote unquote, okay. is basically made up of the richest people in the world. Okay. Now, they don't have people on them, and they have been controlling our so called governments for a long time. Okay. They control who gets elected, How are you doing? when, anywhere. They control when there's a war and when there isn't. They control planetary food shortages and where their country's currency is inflated or deflated. <laughs> All these things are dominated completely by these people. Okay. They can't control natural disaster. Yes, they can, of course. But they can and do <laughs> yeah, control yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This book is wrong there. They can with You got to get it. Anyway, the somewhere <laughs> between 1900 and 1930, the Greys made contact with these people. Okay. It was obviously well before 1943 because they were filled out the invisibility experiment. Scientists used the information they had gotten from the graves. Nicole Taylor, a physicist who for a time was the director of the Philadelphia experiment, stated for the record that he was getting information from ETs, although no one believed him at the time. Now, we all know that Tesla was real, real tight with the Grays. <laughs> In the beginning, the secret government thought the Grays were benevolent and made an agreement with them. In fact, they thought the Grays were the best thing that ever came along, the best thing since Alpha Pi, and a new source of limitless power. The agreement gave the Grays the right to experiment on the planet in exchange for their technology. It is the technology that has resulted in the incredible advancements that we have. In 1968, when David Suzuki predicted that we would soon have a new North and South Pole that would be okay. just about everything on the planet, the members of the secret government decided to leave. Okay. Now, by 1970, they fused the Soviet oh. Union in the United States. What is now happening as we leave the Cold War behind us was inevitable because we have been functioning as one country for a <laughs> long time. Now it's getting warm, huh? The Cold, the cold War is getting warm. <laughs> the secret government has never shared the greatest technology with humanity at large, but kept it for themselves. What about the microwave oven? In the iPod. Well, this book probably was written when the iPod hadn't come out yet. Technologically. Or nano nanotechnology. They've had UFOs for a long time, and they are way beyond that. It has been estimated that about 50% of the UFOs sighted are They're not extraterrestrial, but belong to the secret government. The secret government took Soviet, American, and great technology okay. and created vehicles to make sure that... So they're not, they they're not belong to... The gift, they began to prepare very rapidly. They knew they didn't have much time, and only about 14 years, according to Suzuki's prediction. Okay. Meow. Which is wrong. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> 1984. First, the secret government made a base on the moon. Okay. Using it as a satellite to go deeper into space. Oh, okay. They built three bubble. They built three small bubble type cities on the dark side. There was an accident on one of these, and many people were killed. Uh, records will, uh, will indicate that there have been more than two thousand secret missions. To oh, these. Good record keeping it skills. Now, <laughs> yeah, once the secret government program got enough material on the moon, they went into deeper space. Where do you think they went? <laughs> okay. Mars, of course. The ancestral home of the Greys. <laughs> Mars, they built an extremely complex underground city designed to hold them and a few more people. Not oh, okay. many more of them. Extremely complex, you say? I got a ticket. I got a ticket to them. Call on Mars. You, you said extremely complex I, underground. That's, that's kind of cool. Like the graves and have lost most of their emotional 
the bodies. They brought to their colony on Mars everything they thought they would ever eat. Oh, like new age, new ageism. Lots of canned food. <laughs> oh, or uh, oh, beings of light that eat canned food. One of the uses of the Phoenix Project in the use of time tunnels was to provide a backup to the Martian colonies. Oh, okay. Now, the Martian colonies have been there since early 70s. Well, that makes so sense. Publicly, publicly removed in 69. Oh, okay. Actually, the humans <laughs> were there in 47. And we were there in 62 with a joint U.S.-Russian expedition. Oh, when are we getting paid for this, anyway? They went to Mars on May 22, 1962. Maybe <laughs> Alternative 3 done by Angelica. Hey, wait, when, do we, when does YouTube give us a paycheck for this? April 1st, 1977. Oh, that should be in the mail. Which it's is in the mail. in the underground outlines it. Completely. I already got my YouTube paycheck. I don't know where yours is. <laughs> TV back from Mars. As this explorer moved and landed, we have colonies there in Mars from the late 60s or maybe early 70s onward. Okay. So, so we're on Mars. We're there. Time, We've been there. Or we are there. They did not want anyone to know what they were doing, but they didn't want anyone to come. Technologically, with them either. What did they do? Just cut off they, from contact, or what? They, what? It sounds like they that they got their project funding cut, and now they're like just like living out there, and no one knows any. There's like no more contact with them, or something. They didn't have a cut. I mean, they had a cut from the federal government, but that's just because. <laughs> Where are they now? You know how they do that on VH1? Where or MTV or VH1? They're like. Where are they now? NASA, NASA is funded 